Uh, hi, my name is Jason Hayes. I'm a compositor at Jellyfish Pictures. I've worked on like 10 feature films, um, over 100 commercials. Uh, I've worked on like music videos, documentaries, TV shows, um, and um, it's, it's something I really enjoy. Um, and um, at the moment here, I'm doing a lot of really creative stuff. Um, I'm working mostly in Nuke. Um, I also use Illustrator and um, I use uh, Photoshop and um, a bit of After Effects. Some of the projects I've been working on are uh, Colours, which is for uh, WGSN, an internal uh, project um, like for a uh, presentation. The Cintiq like, definitely helped me. Like, there's a, a, like, a big range of colours and um, I need to you know, make sure it's you know, accurate and just looks great. And um, it was definitely something that like, the, the picture quality on the Cintiq's you know, really high standards. And um, with, with co compositing, you're having to re-sketch uh, over what you've done and um, like, finesse it. And I felt like I was having to finesse less and um, it just yeah, really helped um, try and get stuff done in that. I usually use um, the Intuos uh, Wacom um, tablets and um, it was, when I saw um, that Cintiq um, was by Wacom as well, it, you know, I had confidence that it was gonna be you know, industry standard and um, it was something that I, you know, was a bit, it, it was a bit weird at first, sort of, you know, putting your, uh, your pen, the pen's just like an, a, the one you get with an Intuos. Um, but it was um, something that, you know, after about 10 minutes, I sort of got the hang of and uh, something that I just adjusted really well to. Use, using Nuke on the uh, Cintiq, it's, um, it became very natural. Um, I thought it'd be a lot more difficult to adjust to. Um, and there was moments when I sort of put the pen to the, to the screen and was still trying to get my head around um, having to adjust from a normal like standard tablet and um, it was like after five ten minutes was, I quickly picked it up and it just made a lot of sense um, and uh, the, the screen size um, really helped because I wouldn't have to open and close windows I could keep everything on screen at once and um, I could um, make tweaks and you know zoom in very quickly and it was it was definitely a lot more like um, how I you know used to draw and um, yeah it, was, it just seemed very natural. I'm working you know from you know early morning to afternoon sometimes like having to work late to um, get it done and you know there was no uh, slowdown on the Cintiq. I started with the um, with the stand um, almost facing virtually uh, horizontal to me and um, I've. Um, yeah, um, almost like a, a normal monitor, and I've, I've gradually been angling the um, the uh, Cintiq and um, using it more like um, it is a you know I've, as if I've got paper in front of me and I'm I'm sketching away and um, yeah it was um, something it's nice it, it felt light to move um, it's just yeah very easy to shift around. I've been using the Illustrator and it would be nice to sort of, you know, even um, sketch out like previous sort of stuff and, um, I'd, you know, it's something that I'd, I'd love to have at home and just quickly sketch out ideas and, um, and then finesse them um, back in Nuke and, um, yeah, just, you know, it, I, feel like, I feel like there's a lot of things you can sort of do with this antique that would really just make it a lot more helpful and. I was trying to like flick through the channels, you know, like I was hoping it was a uh, sky, you know. <laughs> 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 I get caught on this thing and then I start like rambling and... <laughs>